Jaden Animations dropped a new video. Can you actually win money on game shows? And I don't really care about the topic of game shows, but I love Jaden Animations. So let's just jump right into it. Mention you Subscribe. can buy a new Jaden Anime figure bundle on jadenanimation.com. That's awesome. Cool, thank you. That's game awesome. Game shows. People's favorite way to fantasize about how to win a lot of money and- Dude, I love game shows. I like making game shows. I like when they're cursed. I was thinking of doing- Don't tell uh, any of the contestants that I usually have. I was thinking of doing a cursed spelling bee where I have them try to spell like incredibly cursed words. Like, you know, caningulingulus. You know, all the really cursed, terrible, like sex act words, like the really long ones. There are a lot of really long ones. And look really cool in front of the entire country. Everyone has sat down in front of a good old deal or no deal and watched the middle-aged white people pick the obvious wrong cases while Howie Mandel just smiles. And if you were on that show, you could do so much better because lucky case number 24 has never let you down. Well, today I'm gonna live that fantasy and prove how easy it is to actually win money on game shows. With my friends Jordan and Kelsey, we're gonna simulate three of America's favorite favorite game shows and see how much money we can collect. Yeah! Let's see how hypothetically rich we could have gotten. The first game we tried was Family Feud. 90% of you guys know Family Feud and I see you, but for the ones who don't, the show asks a hundred random people survey questions and you have to guess what their most common answers are to I'm get the board. I thought this was going to be easy. Steve Harvey sets you up with a dirty question, you scream naked grandma, and then they give you money. But the Pretty moment much. this poser of a host walked out, I knew I was out of my element. <laughs> not the Ari Tofu. <laughs> that's not, that's Steve, not Steve Harvey. Harvey. The game lets you build your family, and I was just gonna make me and my two birds Ari and Tofu and randomize the last two members. Looking back, I probably should have just made Jordan and Kelsey because they were right there. But somehow <laughs> the game randomized to Walter White, Let, so we just kind of went with it. That works. <laughs> You can see them like the stretching. Walter, Walter White. White. That's uh, Walter White. Yeah, Jesse, let him cook, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> it's really him. <laughs> That's good. Look That's at Saul Goodman. <laughs> oh my God, it's Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? Well, the Constitution says you do, and so do I. <laughs> the prompt we were given first was name a president whose face appears on money, to which we buzzed oh, in damn. Lincoln and the opposing Easy. family, the Hortons, answered Roosevelt. And America must have been thinking the same thing I was, which was... Wait, Roosevelt is on money? Because we got the higher score and got to keep guessing more answers. <laughs> we very confidently punched in Washington, which was first, and then realized we didn't have any more guesses. Obama? Wait, Wait what? Are you kidding me? Hold on. After three strikes of wrong answers, the Hortons buzzed Hamilton. Which is stupid because Alexander Hamilton wasn't even a president to begin with. Everyone who experienced 2015 knows that. Does that mean they steal all the points? No. If, if Hamilton. If, well, like the Alexander. It's time for you to uh -oh. score some points. If I know something, Ham Hamilton is not a president. Like the Graham Bell. No, but it's funny because it's Family Feud. Here, here's the beauty. Family Feud is cool because the answers don't actually need to be correct. It's an audience score. It's a survey that they ask the audience. They ask a hundred people for the answer. Alexander Graham. <laughs> <laughs> points. B.S. Name a president. Alexander Hamilton. Ding, 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 ding. Here's all the points. America is so- Dude, dude Family Feud is ridiculous. It's about popular answer, not correct answer. Dense and uneducated. They are literally pumping wrong answers into Family Feud. And I am- <laughs> Dude, Jaden, you're so funny. Uneducated. They are Look literally this. pumping wrong uh... answers into Family Feud. And I am suffering because of it. Name a fruit. Hot dog. <laughs> Yeah. Going into round two, we were down just a bit at zero points to 96, but we swept the next prompt. Something that helps a baby go to sleep. Milk. Round three, uh, yeah. again, again, something you might lose as you get older. We were on- Melatonin! <laughs> Drugs! Boob! Roll with hair, teeth, memory, hearing, and memory. We got a strike because I said parents, and even though that's literally 100% correct, guaranteed, it wasn't on there. There is one answer left we needed to figure out, and we came up with vision, which we were very confident in, but received another strike. Yeah. 
flabbergasted. I was hearing on there, but not vision. We yeah. threw out a half-assed walking, got our last strike, and it was given to the Hortons. Strangely enough, they ended up passing. Guess they couldn't think of anything. But you know what the answer was revealed to be? Eyesight. What? <laughs> Sight and eyesight were different? Damn, bro. America is so lucky the Hortons passed on answering because if they answered eyesight and took all our points again after we said vision, <laughs> it would have started my villain arc. With a strong point lead of 224 to 96, we are now entering a double points round. Let's go. What's something people alphabetize? Names. Soup. thought they were being funny in the family feud surveys and i am Soup. yet again dude's poor yamcha jaden yamcha they're dying bro it's obviously books alphabet soup no shot i'm at soup why are you what do you mean you're at soup i'm at soup and suffering because of it so the hortons can play but they end up passing again for some reason that family only alphabetizes soup we tried music <laughs> children books ran out of ideas and how, just how do you not pick books said soup again nothing was right the answers ended up being address book files yeah. recipes lists recipes. and spices which spices? spices i beg to differ there's no way the tip no one alphabetizes spices typical american has curry powder and garam masala in the front they have salt pepper and garlic powder and everything gets shoved in the back until they die so now we were on the last round which was fast money they give you one last prompt do with do one do answer do. and if you guess it you get the chance to actually win money name something that runs on gasoline besides a car i buzz in with a strong bus which was incorrect i'm not wrong though i see you going to the comments google says a bus is a separate vehicle from trucks cars vans lorries etc it is not any of them that's what Google says. Lawn mower. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> of course! Of course! Ever. All we proved was America's bogging down family feud with their stupid wrong answers. Oh I don't want to win that dumb freedom money anyway. With zero dollars in our pocket, we moved on to The Price is Right. I've actually never watched this game show before, so I was learning as we went. Four lucky contestants from the audience are given a random item, and the closest one to guess the actual price of it, without going over, is selected to come up on stage and play more games to earn money. And I learned that even if I was one of the lucky four people selected I wouldn't even get the chance to be on the actual show the game gave me six chances to be the closest one to the price of the items and I lost every single one Damn. But hypothetically even if I miraculously was the winner and taken on stage I still would have won nothing I tried twice for content and still ended up with zero dollars so we're entering yeah. our last game show of the it's day rough. and we've got a whopping zero dollars to our name after being on two of the most popular shows created we really need to make this one count because I am I'm going to look like such an idiot if I was on three game shows and came back with zero money. We walk out on stage. The spotlight finds us. Jeff Foxworthy raises the microphone to his mouth and welcomes us to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? Yeah! The show where you're given trivia children up to grade five are taught. Answer them all correctly and we could be leaving the show with a million dollars in our pockets. But fail and you're doomed to know you're not smarter than a literal child. Who has yeah, man, you got that Sneeko IQ. That's rough, buddy. Has ...to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. That's Jeff's favorite line to drop when people lose. He says it all the time. It's like his go-to roast. Every couple of questions, you have to pick a child they have provided. Uh, to help you out. You're given the chance to either peek at their answer or copy their answer, but you can only do those once. They're like your child lifelines. I picked Jeremy as our first little buddy. Yeah! His enthusiasm, and he gave us a really good high five. The subject we chose was under fourth grade math, and the question was, oh, how many lines of symmetry are found on the following shape? It showed us a picture of a pentagon. I accidentally thought it was a hexagon. At no! Jaden, no! Why? No, Jaden. First, which was not my finest moment. And then it glitched and never went away. We couldn't get the Pentagon to disappear and literally couldn't read the multiple choice answers. Our thoughts were, since we wanted to punch in the answer of one, 
Yes, I know. Another not the finest moment. Look, oh, I was stressed, okay? The Pentagon jaded. is freaking me out. I wanted to say one. Surely they would have put the answers in ascending oh, order. Jaded. A being the smallest number and D being the highest. So we locked in A, hoping it was one. Lock in. Oh, man. Locking in. So no! <laughs> <laughs> Of course, they make it seven. It was all part of their plan. Let's restart the <laughs> First of all, seven was completely the opposite of what we were trying to say. Second of all, we wouldn't have been right in the first place. And third of all, Jeremy ended up saving our hides. So besides being able to either peek at or copy your student's answer, if you ever get something wrong, Damn. but the kid gets it right, you get to be saved and are still in the game. Let's like the go. rest of the lifelines, it can only be applied once. And Jeremy was here to be our Pentagon knowing hero. Yep. Anyway, hero. we restarted. That attempt, we weren't counting that one because the that was just a practice round and the forever lasting pentagon wasn't fair it messed with our heads yeah but this one yeah, this yeah. one's for real now attempt two started this. and was going well we ended up getting to the sixth question without any problems but of course as our luck would have it oh, we no. were given another glitch question where they gave us an image and then we can't read the answers this time the question was from fourth grade social studies what is the shape of the following landmark Dude, it's an and then it showed us Easy. this I didn't know what it was called, but obelisk. Kelsey was sure it was the obelisk, and we could barely see that as answer yes. C. Yes. Even though we yes. were 99% sure we should just lock in C, Easy. I wanted to play it safe and copy our chosen student's no! answer. So we copied her, and Jeff Foxworthy revealed the correct answer, which was C, obelisk. Jordan, Kelsey, and I all celebrated because we were right, but in a very unfortunate turn of events, it was revealed that Alicia punched her answer are in as B pyramid no <laughs> oh my god. what you little oh my god attempt three we really this wanted to so do sad. one attempt each with the game shows because on national TV you've only got one shot to make your money but I don't think there's ever been times on are you smarter than a fifth grader where Jeff Foxworthy tapes the obelisk to your face and makes you guess on while you're locking in this time I'll say it now we didn't get any questions where the pictures perpetually block the answers Let's go. it's all a fair fight and whatever we win on this try is what we're going you got with. this bro and it was going you got well, this jaded really well in fact third grade animal science which of the following animals has eight arms huh octopus oh no an octopus is tentacles and animal science oh. following animals has eight arms huh octopus I knew that one. Third grade music. A oh, phew, that was scary. Well, that represents the duration and pitch is also known as what? Musical note. Then we got stuck on fifth grade measurements. Nine meters is how many yards? I don't know that. No freaking idea. Slave to the imperial system. So we decided to copy Juliet's answer, which was 9.8. She was right. We got to move Let's on, go. even passing the $25,000 benchmark question. Yo. That means if we end up flunking out from this point on, we still get to leave with 25k. Solid, but we're going for that million. By the way, I had no idea you could win that much money on this show. They could ask you, what's this? And then you say the color wheel, and then you can walk out with three hundred thousand dollars. That's Damn. absolutely bonkers. Anyway, we were getting ah capitalism. A true friend to the needy. Far. Really far. 50,000. 100,000. 175,000. 300,000. We were still in it. The $500,000 question arrived. Fourth grade inventors. Oh. Which inventors' improvements to the steam engine were instrumental in starting the Industrial Revolution? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, not Thomas Edison. He made the light bulb, right? Uh, I'm gonna get Robert Fulton. I have no idea. No, I have no idea. Seemed right, as in we didn't know who any of them were besides Benjamin Franklin, and I don't think he did that. I you, you meant Thomas Edison. <laughs> Jaden, you met Thomas Edison. I'm sorry. sorry. After a lot of back and forth, we decided to guess on Robert Fulton. That's what I would have guessed on. Which was the wrong answer. No. We were out. But then we realized we still had hope. We hadn't been saved yet. If the student we chose during this round got it right, we can still keep going. Jordan, Kelsey, and I looked to our side to realize Alicia, the girl who thought this was a pyramid. Oh no. We're doomed. We had no more child lifelines left. Where was Jeremy when we needed him? She reveals her answer. James Watt. 
She was right! We Let's saved. go! You were just saved by someone who needs to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. Jeff, we made it. We got to the million dollar question. Apparently, they don't want to take it. You can still walk away with $500,000 which is very generous but the catch is it's not multiple choice you have to submit your answer yourself oh, which no. being real if i was really on this show i would just be like all right cool see ya and settle on the five hundred thousand. are you kidding me that's five hundred thousand dollars i've proven enough here i'm going home now but for the sake of the video <laughs> we went all in the subject was earth science yeah well also here, here's the big difference there, there's important difference if you walk away taking the five hundred thousand dollars it's true you made the financially correct move, but everyone's gonna call you a bitch for the rest of your life. Is that worth living with? <laughs> and the question was, what do you call the process of heating water into steam and then cooling it to purify it? To which I was like, I don't know. But miraculously, yeah, it's, I Jordan know knew it. God, dude, I, 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 under pressure, I'm not looking at chat. Chat say nothing. Condensation, right? It's condensation. I might That's know this. Fucking, um, oh my God, I don't know this. That's dis distillation. Is it? Oh. Job, yeah, right? How do you Distilling. spell that? D I S T. Isn't that what you do to alcohol? Yeah, yes. I L L. Distill. I'm pretty sure. It's a better word than I would have said. I would have said, Jeff, I, I don't know. Locking uh, in? I hope so. I hope, I hope they're not right. like, actually, it's distillation. Here's the correct word condensation. <laughs> now locked in for the final time. $1 oh my god, fingers crossed. Is on the line. Everyone in the all, audience crossed their arms for getting at the same to the time. end of the line. They're it's pissed. not easy. You will lose four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and walk out of here. Twenty five thousand dollars is still a juicy <laughs> amount. That's a good amount. <laughs> like yeah. I'd still be happy. No, you wouldn't like, be very happy. You would not be happy. You would not be happy because you know you dropped the ball and lost four hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Me too. No, I'm sorry. No, but what is, what is it? I can't believe what a moron I'm, I am. You're this not is a moron. my bad. Show us the what? correct answer, please. Right. I swear to God. It worked. We oh. oh my God! That is just so frustrating. That is just so frustrating. Right, we were right, we were right. No, 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 no. We won that million. I don't care what the game says. We won that million dollars fair and square. It's distillation, not distilling. Shut up, Jeff Foxworthy. Go back to making barbecue sauce. So let's see what we made. Family Feud, nothing. Price is right. Wouldn't have even made it on stage. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Hypothetically. One million dollars. I'm happy with that. I mean, te technically twenty-five thousand dollars, but okay. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. I wanted to mention again, we're selling a really cool Jaden anime bundle that includes a new figure. Vin Hell yeah, it looks dope. Anyway, dude, I love uh, Jaden Animations videos. They're always so good. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.